Welcome to another video. Um, it's springtime and I'm off to the tench. So um, those of you who subscribe and watch my other videos will have seen a video I did last spring called uh, Short Session Tench Fishing on a Small Pond, I think it's called. Well, I'm back at that same venue and I'm again after some tench. I like to come here, it's just a really small pond, but it's close to home so I can, you know, nip down quite quickly after work, get a few hours in, got a good chance of catching a tench or, or two. And there are the odd uh, road carp in here as well, which can uh, give you a pretty spicy fight on tench gear. So you might, you know, who knows, get one of those as well. Last year I didn't get a single carp, um, not just here, but anywhere. I wasn't fishing for carp at any point, but normally I get the odd carp when fishing for tench. But none last year, but I've seen a few cruising around in the margin, so I wouldn't be surprised if I do pick one off at some point today. Um, it's going to be interesting because I've got two rods with me. You can only use one rod at a time here. Um, I've just got here. Um, I've just chucked out a method just while I get the uh, centre bin rod out. I'm going to do some margin fishing um, with the float. It's nice to nice way to start the season really. Catch catch a few tench on the centre pin and float in the margins. So that's kind of the plan and uh yeah the method is for casting to showing fish if or if I'm struggling on the float. So uh yeah, let's see how it goes, shall we? So not my first tench of the season, but certainly the biggest and best uh, that we've had so far. Excellent, first fish of the session though. Let's get that bait back in. We got another tinker. Let's get it unhooked and have a look at it, shall we? It's in there. Good looking Nick. Another scrapper. Until it's a male. It's got that pelvic bone. Big paddles. And frankly, it fought a lot harder than uh, a female would. But as you can see, it's a great nick. Caught on the Estuary 10 mils. Classic tench bait. Lovely. As you can see, it's very cool to get back. Excellent. So we're getting them on the uh, float rod in the margins and on the uh, method with the estuaries. Excellent fun. There's a fish that's just risen just there as well. Let's get that rod back in straight away. Well, I'm uh, down on the little pond, doing a bit of tench fishing. I've had a few tench on the uh, on the float, but I've also uh, been watching out for any other fish as well, moving around. And I cast to uh, a swirl on the far bank. <sighs> and caught this pristine common. Nuisance fish when tench fishing, but nice looking fish. But let's get it back. So, just getting ready to pack up. The rod's gone screaming off again. And this one's giving me a right old scrap. Another carp. So another nuisance fish, really. Just trying to get the hook out. There we go. Another common. Uh, the last one, like I say, I weighed it. And it was about, it was a, uh, <laughs> just over 16 and a half. I reckon this one's probably a little bit smaller. But it fought a lot harder. But it's a fish and uh, managed to get a few tench, target species, and also bagged a couple of cheeky carp as well. So time to go home.
Well, that was a surprise. Bream. I didn't know there were any bream in here, so uh, yeah, like I say, a surprise. Fought pretty hard as well, it took me a while to work out what the hell it was. Anyway, let's get it out and have a look at it. Another one in the net. Looks like it might be a little bit bigger. Maybe not, I don't know. Similar sort of size. But let's have a look at it. Another good looking one, eh? This one's on the method as well. Let's have a look. Starting to enjoy this. There's this lovely little fish, it's about five pounds. <laughs> lovely little paintbrush. Yeah. Not sure what that noise is all about. Let's get it back, shall we? There he is. And there he goes. I'd like one uh, three times as big now, please. So Ben's just turned up, been here half an hour, and he's already into a tench. It's first of the year. Hopefully, yeah, let's not curse it straight away. Bit of a scrapper. Yeah, it didn't do a lot to start with, and it's just now diving up and down. There's no rush. Even the smaller ones go though, don't they? They, they do. Around, eh? The males do, don't they? Yeah, definitely. There we go. <laughs> the bait is a bit corner, isn't it? Look at this decorum with this corum reel yeah, and this corum yeah. rod. My corum hat. <laughs> I haven't got corum pants on today. <laughs> Ooh, he didn't like that. Yeah, Doesn't like it up him. There we go, result. There we go. Well done, mate. Thanks, Paul. First of the year. Here we go. Almost straight after Ben's. Lovely entrance to the pond. I've got one as well, six and a half pound on the dot, pretty much. Lovely. Thank you very much. And we've got another one. They're coming thick and fast now on the uh, method. So the uh, flight rod's packed away. <laughs> Can I catch some more fish? But they're like in these estuary boilies. Not quite as big as the, uh, the last one. You can't see from this side, but it's got a weird little black mark on its tail. It's got a sort of a, it's, it's sort of a bit of a lump, I don't know what it is. It's like Ben says, it's like a splinter really. It's a bit strange, isn't it? It's almost, almost like it's gone into its tail and then healed over. Yeah. But let's get it back anyway. They're not going to weigh that one. Ben's in again. It's about, I don't know, like a 20 past seven, something like that. So it's been a while since the last bite. I just said I was going to recast it if I missed it. Yeah. You also have pikes, you know, feeding and swirling and causing chaos around your 
baited area <laughs> and we were just we were literally just debating whether that would put tench off feeding and it's gone flying off so the answer to that is categorically no it doesn't unless this is a pike <laughs> unless it is the pike that you've got yeah one of those long green fish Go on, Ben, do it for the tench fishers. Slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny actually, but maybe it will be a male this time. <laughs> That's my form of prediction. There we go. Oh, oh look. It's a baby. Oh, bless. <laughs> God, you made a meal of that. I don't know. <laughs> Mark on it there. Feisty little male. And then there's a tench. Oh, isn't it? Well done, mate. I'll take a picture as well. Anyway. So, just about to pack up. Bow stick, one last one. Not a monster, little male, another scrapper, but let's get him back in the water. I think we'll pack up and uh, go home. Lovely. So, I've just had that fish, that last fish of the day, and as we turned around, Ben's went screaming off. So, hopefully, we'll get this and we we'll, might even be able to get a, uh, a brace shot, hopefully. hopefully. Fingers crossed. I'll get it out. <laughs> <laughs> fish at all actually. Nice fish for the first uh, tench session of the year for you. Yeah definitely. What is that? Oh, oh. This is a barb because she's come out here. So. Right. Well done. Get that rig tube out of the way. Just grab it from there. Hold on. We'll weigh this one because it's a, yeah. it's my best a nice fish. There we go. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's gone under there. The line's pretty yeah, the good. Right, let's get that out of the way. Right over there. Oh, yeah. Right. Swallowed up first, or? Is it ready? Let's just have a... It's only better fish, isn't it? Like it's long, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's not six. I think five is probably yeah. about four and a half, five. Well, that's a good way to finish the day off, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. A couple of tench fishers with a couple fish. of tench. Lovely, mate. Don't think any better than that, does it? Good way to start the season. The difference in colour, that yours is much darker than mine. Yeah, it's, yours is very, it's very light, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's nice to see different varieties and strains. <laughs> oh, they're cold, though, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get them back. Let's get them back, yeah. Oh, bloody hell, my hands are cold. Oh.